Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This video is a little bit different and I know it's quite specific so a lot of people won't love it. But for those of you who are either from London or traveling to London, planning a trip, I thought this could be really handy. You guys know that I love food. I love eating out and trying new restaurants. So for today's video, I wanted to talk through some of my favorite places to eat out in London. I've tried not to include like two niche places. These are a little bit chainy. So I feel like Londoners will be like, why are you talking about these places? There's so many cool like little restaurants. But for the first video on this kind of thing, I wanted to do places that are easy to get to and there's a few scattered around London. They're all so, so good though. I eat at all of them regularly and I can't wait to tell you about them. So let me start with the first one. Dishoom have quite a few branches around London and the idea is it's based on the old traditional cafes in Bombay. Indian food, I feel like in London, has a really bad tradition of just being too cliche. I feel like we ruined it with our kind of pub football lifestyle and Dishoom is the first Indian kind of big chain restaurant that has brought true Indian food back and it's incredible. The atmosphere is amazing. One thing to note is you do have to queue. They have this insane queuing system where they always make you queue and they take your name but they do give you hot drinks while you wait and it's never as long as they say it's going to be. They always say it's going to be two hours and you end up waiting like 20 minutes but it is really worth the wait and I always try to go like off peak so in the afternoon for like early dinner. Just don't go on like a Friday night for dinner because you will have to queue. I do like how the system works though. They take your name down, they give you a hot drink and they invite you in. They welcome you with your name that's already on the iPad. And then they took us downstairs to the bar for a drink. We did have to wait down there for quite a long time, but we had a nice drink and just enjoyed ourselves. Eventually we sat at our table and the whole restaurant is just amazing to look around. There's so much to look at. The decor is incredible. The toilets even feel like quite authentic and the food is just amazing. It's very much like you can share. If you're into sharing, I think that's the best thing to do at this kind of restaurant. Order lots of small dishes and share with whoever you are eating with. A lot of the food is quite spicy, so if you don't like spicy food, definitely ask your waiter to have it non-spicy. But we got like a couple of chicken dishes, a couple of rice dishes, some naans, some dals, and I absolutely love the food. I really like the dishoom in King's Cross. I think that's a really good one, and the waiters and waitresses are all really friendly. It's definitely an interesting one to try if you do like Indian food. I mean, don't expect to go there and get a korma and pilau rice. Like, it's not that kind of Indian. It's interesting. Be open-minded to try new things and ask your waiter for what they recommend. I always think that's the best thing to do. The Detox Kitchen is quite a new and trendy one. It was started by a girl called Lily, I think, and maybe her her boyfriend or husband. I probably should have done my research first, but I went to the launch. There was one, there's one in Kingly Court, but now there's also one near Good Street as well, which is the one that I filmed in and it's slightly bigger. The Detox Kitchen is just the best place to go for a healthy lunch. It's not cheap, be warned, it's definitely not cheap. You can get like a small, medium or large box and there's amazing different kind of Middle Eastern healthy salads. There's like baked aubergine, pomegranate, quinoa salads, like healthy slaws. What else was there? Like sweet potato, butternut squash, all different salads. And you can just like fill your box. You pick a protein like chicken or fish, and then you add like two or three salads along with it. They've got loads of different healthy juices, nice coffee, and it's a really positive, happy environment as well. They do like yoga classes downstairs, and it's always pretty busy at lunch. It's right underneath the Estee Lauder offices. So try again and go like off peak. But it's such a good way to have like a healthy meal and so much to pick from. It's really exciting. I really shouldn't be filming this video when I haven't had lunch yet. It's just making me like salivate. I'm so hungry. But it's really nice to support like new young businesses. And I think they're doing really well. The cookbook is also really good. I've got that and I use it quite a lot. Granger & Co is a new one for me. I've only tried it recently, but I thought it was definitely quite interesting. I didn't have the best experience in terms of like the waiters, like the one I had was really quite rude. We were waiting for a long time for the table, but there wasn't like a designated waiting area. So we really just felt in the way, which was awkward. But all that aside, the food was really great. It's really interesting. Like it's an Australian company, but it's definitely got a lot of like Asian influence in it. So you can go there for brunch, but then there's like rice and egg dishes that you'd have for brunch. Really interesting food. Definitely check out the menu for all of these places. I'm gonna link all the restaurants down below in the description box. Granger & Co is a good one to go for brunch or lunch. But I think all of these places do every meal. I mean, Dashoom also does breakfast, which is so interesting and I loved it. You get like a naan 
wrap. So it's like an egg and bacon naan wrap. Anyway, I love the shoe. <laughs> Granger & Co, the food was really good. They do really good hot chocolates as well. Definitely one to go and check out. If you watch my vlogs, you'll definitely know about Busaba e Thai because I am there all the time. Thai is definitely one of my favorite types of food and I think they do Thai on a big scale very well. It's not like a Chinese takeaway. It's like really good quality Thai food. The flavors are all there. It's so authentic. I've been to Thailand quite a few times, so I know that it's really authentic Thai food. I absolutely love the deep fried prawns. I love the pad Thai. It's so delicious. Everything that I've tried there, I've really liked. They do big like square tables that you share. So it's quite nice to go with a big group of friends. They are everywhere, there's branches everywhere and they're all pretty much the same so there isn't like one that I would recommend over the other. But if you're into Thai food, that's definitely the place to go and I would recommend it over Wagamama. I think it's more authentic and less like, I do like Wagamama but Wagamama is a bit of a factory, they just like churn out the same things whereas I feel like Basaba has a bit more love and authenticity in it. Finally, Home Slice, again another one you'll know if you watch my vlogs. This is the place that I would recommend for pizza in London. The first branch I think was Covent Garden, but they've got a few others now, and they do 22 inch pizzas. So that's a huge pizza that you can either split down the middle and get two different toppings and share with someone, or you can buy the pizzas by the slice, which is great, especially if you want it for like takeaway for lunch. Every topping I've tried has been amazing, and they're so interesting, it's not like, pepperoni or vegetables. It's like goat's cheese and fig, or like some of them have really interesting base instead of tomato, like really different pizza toppings. And they're so delicious. The, the pizza, the base is amazing. You don't leave there feeling like you're full and you've been like really naughty and had like a really unhealthy pizza. It's just such good quality stuff. Really cool like vibe in there, very relaxed. Nice to go for like a Friday night dinner or just for lunch. None of these restaurants are particularly posh. Actually, none of them are at all. Dishoom is probably the most like sit down one, but they're all very casual. You can have lunch or dinner there. And none of them are crazy expensive. The Detox Kitchen is quite expensive for what it is, but all of these restaurants are like mid range. So I'm gonna link below all of the restaurants that I've spoken about. And I'm also going to write a little bit about what I think of each one, just in case I forgot to say anything and the dishes that I would recommend buying each one. There's basically gonna be a lot of info down there. So go and check out the description box if you haven't done that yet. If you haven't seen my last video, I will link it here. So go ahead and have a watch of that. And if you would like to subscribe to my YouTube channel, please click here. I would love it if you did. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.